So, Dr. Thomas Tokait, welcome to Rome and uh, welcome to the annual Giuseppe Sakai Awards. It, was, it is a, a very uh, big honor to have you here with us uh, this year. Um, tell me about your feelings on your nomination. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm really honored to be granted with this uh, great award. Uh, I was actually a bit surprised, but I was really, really happy to uh, hear the, the, the announcement and uh, I'm really glad to be here. Excellent. So, an interventional cardiologist, is, uh, is it uh, medicine in general, intervention and intervention? What, what is intervention cardiologist? What is your, your line of field? Okay. Actually, uh, after the, the, the finish med school, you need to take six years training in general cardiology and after that, there's another step, there's interventional cardiology, so treatment of the uh, myocardial infections, uh, this is a little bit hard work and it's Probably very, it's hard very, work. very uh, stressful, it, you need a lot of time to, to prepare accurately uh, for this job, so uh, it's a long journey, you need more time to uh, How is interventional cardiologist? Uh, it's helping uh, humanity and uh, at the present time. Actually, before the uh, development of invasive cardiology, most of the patients with myocardial infection uh, have very poor, uh, very, very poor uh, outcomes. So when the, the uh, development of this branch of medicine started like 40 years ago, there is a benefit, very big uh, benefit for the pa patients. The decrease in the mortality uh, and, and increase the longevity yes, for yes, the patients. Yes, there is a significant increase in uh, outcome of the patients with, with the, uh, myocardial infection. So it's crucial, crucial for for, for the older patients because cardiovascular diseases are more are uh, one of the most common in the world. So a lot of people are. And what is the future? The future is, I think, it's uh, with the bright colors. Probably uh, with bright colors, it's yes. Actually, it's more depends with the development of, uh, of, of uh, technology. There's a lot of new devices, a lot of new uh, diseases might be uh, treated with inter invasive cardiology without uh, cardiac surgery, without opening the, the, uh, the chest, without extracorporeal circulation. So it's uh, lower risk. The patients, there's bigger spectrum of the diseases every year uh, that might be cured with percutaneous treatment. So, excellent, also, excellent news! Excellent uh, news. Yes, actually, we are three weeks after the, the, the annual European Society of Cardiology Congress. Actually, it was six years ago. It was in Rome. I was. It was, was you also, were. You were. Yeah. Yes, I know. So I, I'm no, the updating the, the, the news from cardiology. We know, I know that you have made a lot of work uh, in uh, Kenya. Yes. I Tell was. me about this. Tell us about this. Actually, I was working there as a charity work, as a physician. I was uh, treating the patients. Also, uh, the one of the most important uh, aim of this work was to uh, the local physicians. Because when we left, the, all the things remained the same as before. Our main purpose was to train the, the, the local physicians, uh, give them new tools to treat the local patients better. So actually we, we were working as physicians, we were treating patients and we were teaching the local doctors to be and better. What was the results after you left? Uh, right it was now, better probably. I hope so, it was better. Uh, it was difficult because it was very close to the COVID pandemic period. Yeah. So all the medical uh, system was uh, suppressed, so uh, a lot of our work uh, was uh, was done, and it was uh, with benefits for the local patients. However, the the, the system changed. The, the, yes, the Local needs were changed. Uh, however, I have some 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 uh, news from from the hospitals when I was working that uh, actually. This, this work started uh, uh, some new quality for them, so I think it was it was very uh, good. So your your work there after the pandemic was uh, continued. Just because, just, be, uh, just be before the, the pandemic. Just, it was just before the pandemic. Like half year before. Half year before the pandemic. 
What is your personal goals on uh, on your journey, on on your field? Actually, What is um, your future personal goals? Every year I'm trying to, to, to improve my skills as cardiologist, to, to train uh, every year with uh, new abilities. I'm also a uh, researcher, I'm making some, some, uh, some research, so I, I also try to uh, evaluate the outcomes of our treatment, to conduct some studies that will evaluate the, the uh, development of cardiology and our treatment strategies. So the academic and also the work as physician, the two main paths for, for, for my future. I consider it as the most important. How about you? Uh, uh, are you in the position that you, you were imagined to, to be when you started in uh, uh, your career in, uh, in medicine? Oh, I think uh, it always could be better, but... I, oh, no, I, no I, I don't I, mean if it is better or worse. I mean, yes. uh, as, as a child, okay. you, you had dreams to become yes, a doctor, probably, yes, or yes, something. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Actually, obviously. I, I Are you there for the moment? I'm on the way. Yeah, You're so. on the way? I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Closer than, than, than I thought I will be. But it's still, as I said in the beginning of our conversation, it's a long journey. So probably uh, it's over the horizon, but I'm not yet on the, on the place I would like to be. Excellent. So it's still it's still continuous learning, continuous Excellent. Uh, increase my abilities and skills. Uh, so once more, we congratulate you on your nomination and on your award this year. We are very, very happy to have you here in Rome and with the Giuseppe Saka Awards. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm really honored.